All right, welcome back. This is our show. This is Junior, and I got my co-star Colby here. Hey, well, how you doing? And welcome our guest, uh, Widad and Jules. Thank you. Yeah. Um, these guys are very special people. They come from outside of America, and we want to hear more about their story and how they integrated, you know, technology into their lives, you know, being from different backgrounds. Yeah, my name is Jules Magua. I'm from Cameroon. Cameroon is a country in Central Africa. Yeah, I'm here since, I can say, one year and a half. Yeah, yeah wow. I'm happy to be here and, and learn a, a new thing, like Spark, and no new people, no new culture, how mm-hmm. people think different than what, where, how, where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm very happy. Mm. Um, I'm with Ed Alothman. I'm from Syria, and I have been in the United States for like three years. And I was like so happy as I know in Spark, and I got like, I talked to my my uh, my cousin, she's in Europe, and I told her about Spark, and now she's using it for her her presentation. And the first time she sa- she told me she used it, she said it's very easy to learn, and it's like it's it's so fun, like mm-hmm. you know, changing yeah. a lot of stuff in it. So yeah. Uh, so Jules, I kind of wanted to hear your story about how you like learned about you know the technology in in the classroom and used it for your project uh, about HIV. Yes, thank you to give me this great opportunity to express myself about this. Uh, first of all, I uh, need to tell that before coming here in USA, I start to use technology in Africa. But as they told, technology is changing too much. I was so surprised when year I s- Mr. A.D. learned all how to learn Spark. I was so surprised because it was new for me. And it's so good because Based of, of on the subject that we um, I'm about to propose here, Spark gives more opportunity to people to be captive to what I want to explain. Because it is a very old problem, but people don't imagine how this problem is very important. But with PAC, uh, which is the part of very great technology, is give possibility and more possibility to, to people to understand. Because with all those these image that park can show and all this possibility is is really captive and i think it will be very very good for people to understand mm-hmm. many things about mm-hmm. it yeah that's awesome mm-hmm. yeah as so you're saying you know this p- this paper that we write it, it's great and we need it we need the facts we need the research but to show people to actually make an impact by showing people mm-hmm. the research on video yeah i mean i think I think what you did with that video was awesome. And yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I also, I can, I, can, I can add something because most people don't like to read on the paper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But true yeah. part sure. is very easy to translate the message and people can receive this message and maybe it can change the attitude and many people, yeah. many things now can, can be different mm-hmm. than, than before. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, with that, um, you, you showed a lot of your culture by posting like yeah. making a video mm-hmm. and um how did that help you explain to others um, about your culture yeah because sometimes it's very hard as he says like all, uh, all of the people like now in our time like they don't like to read they like to watch and see the facts like now as like you s- like you read a book on something but when you watch a movie on this book it's very different yeah. and you mm-hmm. enjoy it more as you mm-hmm. see it because like it just engage you with the like all of the th- scene you see in the m- video or like in the movie or whatever so like as i was doing spark and like doing the interview it was very new for me yeah. and like you know being in the front of the camera mm-hmm. uh and like doing uh, but I, w- I really enjoy it i was like oh this is how it's writing should be yeah. it's yeah. not yeah. only on paper <laughs> yeah. and like forget <clears throat> what you what we were like what you write f- like on the paper but when people see what you uh, put effort in the video and in the and the interview probably will they will they will uh, like y- they can get they can see what you want what you are trying to teach yeah, them it shows passion yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think when i was if you were giving me an essay to read about your culture i think i wouldn't really feel the you know the love that you have for your for your family mm-hmm. and for your culture and i could see that portrayed when you make a video or you spark yes so i have a question for you guys how as a um, society or uh, people who think videos might not be as credible when you first see them how do we how do we change that mindset? How do we, when you see a video, how do we actually think that this is credible? What do you guys think? 
is depend of the content of why the video want to present. If the content is good, it should be good because most people have an idea by thinking that all the thing that we have in the video is all a bad thing. They can learn new thing through the video and it's good. What all depends the content. If you have a good content, you know how to present the content. Mm -hmm. And it's also a good thing to say that if we, if we have technology, you need, we need to be direct by the teachers. Teachers need to be there to mm -hmm. show us where we need to go because we can use video by the bad way. And yes. this is no good. This is the reason why teachers need to be there to direct us, say that you need to pass this down. If you, you explain all these ideas to people, they can see the good side of the video in the, 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 the learn the new skill and the new team. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Um, the content of everything is going to make the video more credible. I mean, if we're going to be talking about something po political mm -hmm. um, versus something uh, like a joke, mm -hmm. then um, someone's going to take it more seriously if it's political. Mm -hmm. um, so I think when we're learning in the classroom, uh, the, the benefactors of um, having a topic or content that's important is going to make more students be focused on, on making a great video. Yeah, I mean, if we're passionate about the topic that we're talking about, yeah. we mm -hmm. should have the facts straight, right? Yeah. We shouldn't we shouldn't be lying. We shouldn't be telling half truths. We should be hey, these are the facts. This mm -hmm. is what I'm passionate about because of these facts. Yeah, I mean, when we started this class, um, we all had an opportunity to pick a topic on what was important mm -hmm. in our lives or what we were passionate about, like uh, mm -hmm. Colby said. And when we do find something, it helps us to um, open up when we're making a video. Um, to show our culture. Yeah, and yeah. that was amazing for me because, like, I, I choose my essay and, like, you know, when a teacher gives you essay and, like, a topic and he told you, oh, write about this, like, this thing, probably you're not that interested, like, yeah. you know, to make mm -hmm. videos and yeah. stuff, but when this topic you like and you mm -hmm. want to explain to people and teach people and, like, you know, make it benefit for others, so probably you will put more effort yeah. in it. Yeah, so you take the teacher usually takes what he's passionate about or she's yeah. passionate about yeah. and says, oh, you're, you're I'll have to write a research paper on yeah. this. Well, I'm not really yeah. passionate that, about that, so that's what I'm probably so not going to drive a write, a write a really great paper on it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to this, I can add something. Freedom in education is a very good thing because uh, that's why I want to thank Mr. Eddie because he gives us the freedom to choose what we need to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a very great thing, and this thing gives us inspiration, inspiration to do what and do it good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's I mean it's awesome. in <laughs> some places <laughs> in the world, they are literally learning what they are told. They don't, they don't get given anything mm -hmm. different. Like they don't get it to choose for themselves. Yeah. But come to America and mm -hmm. um, you get the opportunity to learn what you want and to express yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think that freedom, like you're saying, is a great way that, to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I lived in England, and I won't get into the actual history of what they were talking about, but they, they, they are taught different history than we're taught. And it's very interesting. And just, I, I bet there's more examples of that in different countries. And, but yeah. So we're yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up. We're so grateful for you guys coming in and, and sharing your story. You know, you guys come from all around the world. Um, but thank you, uh, with that and, yeah, and Jules for coming in today. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.